it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade. It's that time of year where I get into spring cleaning and I want to try to get more organized. I often have a lot of random clutter on my desk. So for this project, I want to show you how to make this DIY elastic board organizer. This is a great way to organize small pieces of inspiration, notes, or photos into a cool functional board which you can display on your wall. To start, I'm using this 12 by 24 inch wood board. I picked this up from the craft store and it was fairly inexpensive, but there are some splinters on the ends, so if you have the same, you might just want to sand those off. To measure out the holes, I'm marking off a 1.5 inch border around the entire board. Along that border, I made 5 marks that are on the top and bottom, evenly spaced, which is 5 and a quarter inch apart, and this measurement can vary depending on your preference or the size of your board. Then I'm using this colorful rainbow elastic cord. It's 2 millimeters wide and starting with 5 yards should be enough. Now to make the right size holes, I'm using the elastic band to determine the right size drill bit to use. I want it slightly larger than the elastic so I'm using 1 8. Then drilled holes on the marks that I made. I held my board off of the work table. Don't drill into your table and be safe with your hand drill. After all the holes are made, the bottom might have some splinters sticking out so just sand those down as well and erase any pencil lines that are left over. Now with the elastic cord, start threading it in. Starting in one corner and then leaving enough on the back so that you can tie a double knot. Then stretch it to the next hole so that you can estimate how much to cut off. Put it through the second hole on the top. I'm going to tie that end later so I'm just leaving it in the back and then starting on the next hole on the bottom. Pull it through and leave that end for later and then take the other end and put it through on the corner. Flip it over to the back and then tie that end in a double knot. Flip it back over and continue putting in the other elastic pieces and I'm making a crisscross pattern so it's actually just a bunch of X's and I'm just repeating the first X that I made. For the holes that have two elastic ends in them, I'm leaving those for later so that I can tie those together in a knot. After you have all the elastic pieces in, go to the back of the board and start tying those double ends together. Give one end a good stretch so that there's enough tension on the front that will hold your pieces to the board. Just tie them in a knot together and trim off the excess. Continue doing this on all the remaining ends. Now to hang this on the wall, I'm using these mounting strips along that border that I measured out on the back of the board. And there it is on my wall, ready for my random pieces of clutter to be on display, more organized, and off my desk. There are a lot of different ways you can customize this, like using different colors of elastic, painting the board, or maybe trying a different hole pattern. I was thinking it would be fun to spell something out on the board. How would you customize this? Share your ideas in the comments below and share your project pictures with hashtag HGTV Handmade. Hit that thumbs up if you like this tutorial and be sure to subscribe for more DIY projects. Check out last week's tutorial which shows you how to make a damask pattern using your own DIY stencil. And I will see you all next Thursday.